well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i create um the perfect base for my makeup and it really depends on your face and how your base is created so to start i like to take this elf puff puff primer it's part of their cbd line and i feel like it's really good for dry skin um so i am just putting that all over my face in four different places and just smoothing it in then i take the ColourPop no filter concealer along with the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer and i use the nyx to conceal spots that i don't like and the ColourPop one to highlight and i actually saw on tiktok that if you highlight if you put your concealer on this way makes your eyes look lifted and just highlights your face better than the triangles under your eyes so then I like to go in with a beauty blender. Uh, these are personally my favorite. They're from Beauty Bakery and they're, they're blending eggs. You get like six for $18. They're amazing. I also like to take a brush to blend up my concealer sometimes. So this is the Morphe brush um, and it's just like a round tip. And I feel like that also blends out the concealer seamlessly, especially if it has dried down kind of. And then I just go back in my beauty blender to bend, blend out the NYX concealer. And then I like to highlight under my foundation. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Trippin'. And I'm putting that on the high points of my cheeks, on my forehead, and on my nose. And just a little bit on my lip. I like to highlight under the skin because it kind of gives you like this glow from within look. And then I do also take a highlight on top after I put on my foundation. But I just like to blend this out with a beauty blender. Then I go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. This is absolutely my favorite foundation. It's a full coverage matte foundation. And it actually feels pretty good for dry skin. Um, my shade is Honey. If you're trying to figure out what shade you are. And if you do want to like get shade match. I recommend going to the NYX store. Rather than like the other stores that they sell it. Because they do have like their full variety. Of all the shades that they offer in this foundation. So I just like to take a beauty blender and blend this out. I do like to do like one and a half coats of this, not two, um, but I just dot it all over my face. I do not like putting my foundation on my beauty blender first, um, like pumping it onto the beauty blender or putting it directly on my cheek. I like to put it on the back of my hand, then pick it up with the beauty blender, then blend it in. I just feel like that just helps to get a seamless application of your foundation. Then I go in with the Fenty Beauty Powder and I just put that under my eyes. I don't really bake, but I also don't not bake, if that makes sense. Um, I just don't leave it on there long. I leave it on there long enough for me to put my contour on. Then I wipe it away. And this is a Black Radiance Contour Palette. I contour my forehead. I contour my cheeks. I know it looks harsh at first, but you go back in, you blend it out um, with like a bronzing shade and a big brush you blend until you cannot blend anymore and i also contour my double chin because she lives on my face rent free and then this is just some more blending and more blending because we can't be muddy but i have realized that even though you blend it it should still be seen because you're adding dimension and depth to your face and this will kind of look different on everyone then i just use that same fancy beauty powder just to clean up the contour then i apply blush i recently started liking blush the blush that i use is a smashbox blush that i have but i don't really know the name of it um because it doesn't have a shade it just has a number but i just use a brush for that and then i use a big dense brush to wipe away the powder that's under my eyes and then i take that same matchstick from earlier and combine it with the highlight in my contouring palette and i just put it on i do like to blend this with a brush and my fingers just i don't want to be a glazed donut but i also don't want to have a flat face so i put this on my nose i put this on my cheeks i put this on my forehead then go back in with that same brush and i wipe away the powder that was under the contour you want to make sure it's all wiped away because you don't want to be walking around with a streak of just powder on your face. And I go back in and I blend my blush contour together. And then I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz Brow Gel 
on my eyebrows i don't tweeze them i don't arch them i don't do anything to them they just look this good when i wake up that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it. if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys on saturday with a brand new video and a giveaway <laughs>